Several months ago, I posted a video on how to create a simple aviation-style altimeter using an Arduino Uno, a touchscreen, and a Bosch BMP280 pressure sensor pictured here. That pressure sensor required six connections to the Arduino Uno using six jumper wires because it utilizes the SPI communication bus of the Arduino Uno. However, in the passing months, the BMP280 pressure sensor utilizing the SPI bus and supporting 5 volt logic has either been hard to find, the price has gone up, or it has been replaced by a variant of the BME280 sensor that utilizes the I squared C bus and not the SPI bus. Here is a comparison of the two sensors. The BME280 only requires four jumper wires because it uses the I squared C bus and has the added benefit of providing humidity data, which the previous sensor did not provide. In this video, I will show how easy it is to utilize the BME280 sensor with the I squared C bus. Pictured here are all of the components needed to construct an aviation style altimeter that includes humidity. Note that in addition to the Arduino Uno, the ILI 9341 touchscreen shield, and the BME280 sensor, only four extra tall female shield headers and five wires are needed. This is one less wire required than before. The four female shield headers are one four pin, one six pin, and two eight pin female headers. These headers will be used to support the touch screen when it is inserted into the Arduino Uno. The connections for the I squared C bus are somewhat different from those required for the SPI bus. Just like before, the ICSP header will be used for voltage and power using the VCC and ground pins of the ICSP. Because the primary VCC and ground pins of the Arduino Uno are occupied by the touchscreen shield and thus not readily accessible. Unlike before, the reset pin of the ICSP will be needed for the touchscreen shield as will be explained later. And unlike the previous build, the A4 and A5 pins of the Arduino Uno will be used. In order to do this, we will need to carefully bend two pins of the touchscreen shield and provide some extra clearance with the use of the extra tall female shield headers. The assembly process begins by connecting the VN pin of the sensor to the VCC pin of the ICSP. Note that the VCC pin is located in the lower right hand corner of the ICSP as pictured here. The next step is to connect the ground pin of the sensor to the ground pin of the ICSP. Note that the ground pin of the ICSP is located in the lower left hand corner of the ICSP. The next step is to connect the SCL pin of the sensor to the A5 pin of the UNO. Note that the A5 pin is located at the very end of the header block on the UNO as shown here. The last wire to be connected to the sensor is the SDA pin. It must be connected to the A4 pin of the UNO. And here's what it looks like when all four pins of the sensor have been connected to the Arduino UNO. Before continuing with the insertion of the shield headers and then the touch screen on top of those, one more jumper needs to be inserted into the ICSP header. The reset pin of the ICSP, which is located in the upper left hand corner of the ICSP, must be connected to a jumper, with the other end being loose for the time being. The jumper will ultimately be connected to the touch screen itself at a later step, but once the reset jumper has been connected to the ICSP, assembly can resume beginning with the four pin shield header. Note that if a, a four pin shield header is not available, 
it can be made from a six pin shield header by carefully clipping off the last two pins. Now insert the four pin shield header next to the A4 and A5 jumper wires as shown here. Note that all six pins of the six pin header block on the UNO are now occupied. The next step is to insert the six pin shield header in the next block on the UNO. Note that two of the pins of the header block on the left are not used. The next step is to insert the eight pin shield header on the other side of the UNO. In this case, all eight pins of the header block are used. And the last step is to insert the second eight pin shield header into the 10 pin header block of the UNO. Note that the last two pins of the UNO header block on the right are not being used. Now we need to insert the touchscreen shield into the shield headers that were just inserted into the UNO, but before continuing, two pins of the touchscreen shield need to be bent at approximately a 45 degree angle as shown here. The two pins that need to be bent are the LCD reset pin and the pin above it, which has no label because it's not used. This explains the reason for the fifth jumper wire that was added to the ICSP. Because the A4 pin was used by the touchscreen as a reset pin, and since it is now being used by the sensor as the SDA pin for the I2C bus, Another pin needs to be assigned to the touch screen as a reset pin. By bending the LCD reset pin by a 45 degree angle, it is possible to connect that pin to the reset jumper from the ICSP. The other touch screen pin must also be bent because room is needed for the A5 jumper underneath. Once the shield has been carefully inserted, so that all pins are properly seated, this is what it will look like on one side of the UNO. And this is what it looks like on the other side of the UNO. Note that the reset jumper from the ICSP still has not been connected. The next step will be to connect the reset jumper to the LCD reset pin of the touchscreen. Insert the reset jumper into the LCD reset pin of the touchscreen as pictured here. Note that the reset pin is the next to the last pin on the touchscreen shield and the last pin is not connected. When all of the jumpers and touchscreen shield have been inserted, the next step is to connect the USB cable to the UNO. I've made available on my GitHub page the software required to drive this hardware configuration. There is a link in the description to this video to the GitHub page where the software can be downloaded free of charge. Once downloaded, utilize the Arduino IDE to compile and transfer the program to the UNO over the USB cable. Once the transfer has completed and the UNO has rebooted, the display will appear as shown here. Note that there is an additional line at the bottom of the screen showing the percent humidity and that I have added a 10,000 foot marker denoted by the white triangle at the top of the clock-like display. The 10,000 foot marker isn't of any use if the altimeter never goes over 9,999 feet, but it is available in the event you happen to be driving over some very high mountains and it does provide some added realism for practicing the use of an aviation style altimeter. Note that if the display does not boot up within about 10 seconds of turning on the Arduino, but remains white, it probably means that there's a loose connection or perhaps some wires were switched from their proper position. If a blank screen appears for more than 10 seconds, double check all wiring and seating of the pins into the headers and jumpers. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.